Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Saskia Smit here. Um, we are going to make an abstract painting today and we are going to use fluid acrylics and paper because I wanted to try something else. I don't want to pour paint all the time. I also want to try other things and I did one previous but it's not on video but and my daughter wanted it uh, and I had so much fun I just had to do this again and I'm going to do this more but with other colors so if you like this uh, stay tuned uh, for the next videos um, yeah this is some stuff I don't know it's firm like a fabric but it's I think it's made from paper so I am calling it a paper fabric but I don't know maybe you have the right English word for it please let me know in the comments if you know we are going to use a gold mica I love Midas because it's not uh, a yellow gold but it's a uh, pretty light gold and I like that and I'm going to mix that in uh, the vivid art the fluid from color art and it's a very uh, fluid acrylic extender but it also has a binder in it to bind the mica and it's very easy to apply so I love to work with the vivid art fluid I do have other videos about it if you're interested just uh, go to my channel and search in my videos and now I'm just going to paint it on top of that paper and it needs to be translucent because I want to see the canvas underneath when we are going to apply it on the canvas. I'm drying it now with uh, my hair dryer because I want it to be dry when we apply it to the canvas. And the black thing you see that's just an, uh, a silicone mat because um, when you dry it it will be a little bit sticky but it's very easy to pull it off a silicone mat so that's why I use that so now we are going to, to apply this first layer don't you love the shimmer of that gold and I'm going to use uh, a gloss gel and that's because it's a very good adhesive and I'm going to mix that gloss gel with water because we don't need uh, a very thick consistency to apply paper to a canvas canvas I don't know how you call it and that's what I'm showing you now I first start with a little bit of water then I stir that up up very well until uh, yeah it's a smooth consistency again and then I add more water and more water and more water so at the end we have yeah just a glue but that's very thin it dries up transparent so if you accidentally put some on your black canvas it doesn't matter because when it dries it's transparent and you won't see it I put some on the edges so my paper won't move but most of it it's going to be applied on top because it will seep through the paper and it will stick on there and at the same time uh, you have a good um, seal protect protector seal so yeah I love working with uh, gel medium you can uh, use it for so many purposes so I always use it uh, also to thicken up my paint if my paint is too thin or when I uh, use uh, the color art primary elements pigments it's uh, yeah it will just give it a little bit more body and it's just helpful okay here we have uh, some tissue paper in the Netherlands we call it silk paper or silky paper and I'm going to apply uh, 
the Vivid uh, Art Fluid Aztec Bronze with water on top of there. And you have to do that very careful because that paper is really thin and uh, really uh, it will break very easy when it's wet. So use a soft brush. It may look like I'm firmly pushing on that brush, but I'm not. I'm actually just touching it a little bit, but it's, yeah. This footage is uh, fast forward a little bit, but yeah, really apply it very softly. And this Aztec bronze, I think, is a beautiful coppery color, but you will see that once it's dry. Beautiful color. Now uh, we are using the hair dryer. I'm putting my brush on top there because that uh, tissue paper is so very thin. You don't want to want it to fly away. So now I carefully, uh, from a little bit further away, I will blow the air underneath the paper. But be very careful with this because you will easily uh, tear it apart. What you also can do is uh, put it on your silicone mat and just let it air dry. That's fine too. But of course, uh, I want uh, wanted to uh, hurry up a little bit. And just hold your blow dryer further away. Not too close because you will just blow a hole in it. So I made several papers with this color to apply on our painting later. There you see, <laughs> it's really very thin paper. But that's what I love because it's very transparent and that's what I wanted. Um, here we have rice paper that's also transparent but it's a little bit more opaque than the tissue paper and it's also a little more firm so it's not uh, so easily going to break uh, as the tissue paper here we are using titan peach it's called peach but it's actually a pink and I'm using that with some water because if I would use that pink uh, oh and here we have the gold opal also which is an interference color. Um, if I would apply the pink uh, without water, it would be very opaque and uh, our rice paper wouldn't be transparent anymore. And that's what I want because I want to layer, uh, make layers top on top. And I want to see what's underneath it. Gold opal is uh, yeah, an, uh, an iridescent color. Here you can see the gold shimmering with the pink. I actually like that very much. So let's uh, put some papers on there. And for this, yeah, you just have to put it on your canvas and decide for yourself where you want it. There's not a tip I can give you there because I know uh, what mediums I was going to use, but I did not know uh, where this would end. So I always just go with the flow and uh, I decide at that moment where I want something or what color I want something. And it always is different in the end than what I had in my mind. So, we are going to apply 
this layer again with the gel medium and water. I sped this up a little bit for you because yes of course this took uh, a pretty long time. I've been working on this canvas for about a week so I had many hours of footage but I could bring it back to uh, around 30 minutes for you because you don't have to see everything although I want to show you everything <laughs> it's not possible unfortunately and I really love uh, the texture that you get from this for some reason I'm really intrigued with texture lately and this is a very fun way to experiment with that how are you guys doing? is 2024 started good for you? I hope so um, I know I said this last year but I'm trying to do more videos this year for you I really I do I really miss it but you know life sometimes is so busy but I'm really 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 going to try You see here I'm struggling with well where will, will I put this and you know but I just try different places until I think well okay that is where I want it and if you don't like what you did the first time you know it's just paint it's just a canvas and it's just paper just play, experiment, and if you don't like it, do it different next time, you know. But I actually uh, really love the way this uh, was in the end. And it's hanging in my dining room now, so my husband was happy with it. What else do I want? What more do I want? <laughs> If, if you as you noticed I've pushed the corners a little bit in and you can just do that with your paintbrush when it's wet you can just uh, move that paper in uh, any form you want just push uh, softly with your, your with your paint or with your brush, I'm sorry. And if you accidentally tear up your paper, it doesn't matter. Because it will only give a little extra, I don't know, extra fun the way you look at it. It doesn't have to be totally perfect. It can be ripped a, a little bit. Why not? Now you can see that that uh, tissue paper is really translucent and that's what I love about it. And the design may look strange to you now, but there will be more layers and it's we are going to paint on it later so it will look really different and when you are working on your next layer do make sure that the first layers are dry because you will rip them if they are still wet you can also blow dry this with your uh, hair dryer blow dryer you see it looks really strange now but there's other things going to be on top 
here we have some tissue paper that I painted uh, with the Titan Peach, which is pink. And here you see me try different places to put them. Turning the canvas a little to see <laughs> what it looks like. Because sometimes it's hard to see when your canvas is flat on the table. And I just try and try until I think, okay, this is alright with me. There we go, I have decided. And I think what's great about this uh, paper art that it's really the colors that make your painting. Here you see me uh, ripping a corner off because I just thought it would look nice. And I was wondering if we could do something like this but with really bright colors but I don't know if it would look I, I think this looks kind of nice because the colors are all soft and natural but I don't know what 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 do you think Sh uh, should I do this sometimes with uh, really bright colors like red orange yellow blue green you know purple <laughs> I don't know, maybe I just have to try, but I wanted to do this in the soft colors first and of course I wanted to hang this in my living room and I have uh, black and wood furniture so this will fit right in there and that's why I chose for these colors and of course I like a little bling, that's why the gold is in there and the copper. Here we have the Vivid Intense Mars Violet, that's such a a beautiful color there you see it this is really thin applied so it's just a drop with a lot of water in that cup because those colors are so strong and my paper would not be translucent anymore if I put on too much uh, the little squares of paper you see is also the Mars Violet but I also put some um, Aztec bronze on there so there's a little bit shimmer in that too and the one I'm holding there that's only the S uh, only the Mars violet yeah there you can see that there's a little bit Aztec bronze in the darker ones I just I love that color I think it's so pretty I think this really gives it a, a little bit of a, a classic look and it looks a little bit brown in here but later you will see that it's actually more red but it depends on what camera I use to film and I'm using three cameras actually to film my videos but you will see that later in the end that it's actually uh, more red And now we are going to draw with charcoal. There's no pattern in my mind. I'm just, I put my charcoal on that canvas. And yeah, just let your mind free and do what comes in your mind. It doesn't matter. It's very freeing to let go. And just do it. <laughs> and I know it looks very scary, you know, because we all have the, those neat squares under there. And am I actually going in with black and draw all over it? Oh, yes. And that's what makes this fun. You can do 
anything you want, anything you desire. I think I would call it intuiti intuitive painting or drawing. And if you never try things like this, you never know what you can do, you know. So, yeah, just do it. And surprise yourself. Here we have the Prism Poor French Silk, which is uh, a beautiful transparent gold. And I'm only using this, uh, and you will see how transparent it is, that we have a little shimmer in there. But only when we look from a certain angle. And that's also what makes this painting fun. So if uh, now in my living room I'm standing uh, right across my painting, it looks like all the colors are flat. But uh, once I walk uh, past it, and so it's uh, I'm looking more from the sides, then you can see all that gold shimmer in there. So yeah, I think that's beautiful. So you have the classic look and a little bit more shimmering look. And it makes uh, the painting playful and interesting to look at, actually. So you can see how transparent it is. Here we have a little bit Van Dyke Brown. That's also the Vivid Intense by Color Art. If you are looking for these paints, uh, or pigments or mica or whatever uh, you can find that in my online store I would put some links uh, below under this video so you can find us it's uh, saskiasmitart.com and I think we have over 600 uh, art and craft products you can choose from so and of course you would be helping uh, a small business owner if you would shop with me and we are shipping worldwide so I hope to welcome you as a new customer or maybe an old customer who hasn't been in our store recently we have so many beautiful products so I speed things up here because um, yeah this painting took me about uh, yeah a couple of hours but and I'm trying to make some accents and put some other colors in there and you will see that it will really really change this painting and this is totally not what I had in mind when I was starting this painting because uh, I thought it would be uh, minimalistic with a couple of squares, you know. And somehow I ended up with uh, this. But I think that's uh, what we call intuitive or intuitive. How do you how do you say that? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Intuitive painting. Uh, you don't know what you're going to do, but you just go with the flow and something beautiful will come out of your hands really so i really really encourage encourage you encourage you to try some new things sometimes it's it's nice to do five bloom pours every day of course but it's really good for you and for your uh, artistic um, learning process to do different things you don't have to show them in public if you don't want because you do it for you but it will really help you and it will yeah help your mind to be more creative and it will give you so much satisfaction it will make you happy just do it because it will make you happy and people yeah, want to learn new things, right? Because it will give you, it will make you feel like you have accomplished something. I only had done one small 
painting like this to try before and then I made this one so and I was actually a little bit amazed to see in the end like yeah wow did I do this and it makes you feel good and I had so much fun because normally I don't use charcoal I don't use paper and I'm not gluing stuff to my canvas but this was really so great to do and I so so hope that some of you are going to try this and of course show me what you made um, if you want to do that you can email me at saskiasmitart at gmail.com and uh, send me a photo of your work I would love to see it or if you maybe you make your own YouTube videos give me a link to your video I would love to see it so as you see I used the Van Dyck brown only for a little bit of accents it uh, will age the painting a little bit that color and why I was making those shapes I don't know I just did it but I think it will it makes this painting playful and fun and I think if you are really really good uh, you could even make uh, people in there or maybe a dog or flowers but this time I was just yeah expressing myself and did not try to make anything or maybe a sunflower or something you know I could see all kinds of uh, things in there and that's also fun about this painting because everybody who walks by sees something different in it you know and it also depends on from what what angle you are looking here we have some gold leaf I cut up a little square and I want to put that somewhere because I want a focal point because the painting is actually pretty busy but there needs to be one focal point for people to look at and to explore from there and this gold leaf will stand out because it's uh, a different color gold than all the other golds that I used So I just put it there with the gel medium and water. It will stick. And as you can see, I put some paper there on top where I'm painting now with the Mars Violet also a little bit on top of that little square with gold leaf and now I'm painting with the Mars Violet at first I was yeah trying to thin the Mars Violet because I didn't want to go too heavy but at some point I decided well why wouldn't I go a little bit heavier as you can see the Mars Violet is pretty red and now I was uh, rubbing the charcoal on my gold leaf to make it look like it's aged, a little bit aged and yeah putting some more lines in there because it makes it interesting I think and 
And the funny thing is that now it's hard to see uh, which papers are put where because we painted on top. So now it's really hard to see uh, what's a line of paint or what's a line of uh, the paper that we glued on there. The gold I'm putting on top now is a very, very light, a very, very thin layer because I just wanted to get some accents. Uh, you see a couple of veins that, yeah, look gold now, and that's what I wanted. So you just see it when you walk by or pass this painting. And here we have that Mars Violet again. And now you also can see what cameras actually do. Because I'm using a different camera today. And now you can actually see how red the Mars Violet is. But I would say this these are the actual colors. It also depends on how heavy you apply it, of course. Because I think at the beginning I was a little bit scared to put on heavy colors on there. But somehow, during this process, yeah, I was not so scared anymore to put on some darker colors. And I'm glad I did. Uh, I applied, applied a little bit of the Mars Violet and water on that other colors. And <clears throat> use the tissue to pick it up again. And now I'm signing my painting. Oh guys, I hope you like this. I know it's something different. Um, but I really, I want to do some more with this. I think I want to do this with more blue tints. Or other tints. Or yeah, who knows. Uh, with a real rainbow of colors. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm just going to try. I really hope you like this video. And yeah, let me know under the video what you think. I really missed you and I want to hear from you. So now you could see what I meant when walking past the painting. You see a difference because it starts shimmering. This is in the evening sun in my, in my dining room. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.